Hey team, welcome to today's workout. It's the blue level intermediate workout. So if you are the type of person that's done the green workouts, you wanna step it up, this is perfect for you. Um, if you've tried the purple level workouts and they're a little bit too difficult, a little bit too intense, also perfect place to start with this one. So um, the movements we're gonna be doing today, I'll do a quick run through and then we'll get this timer started. It's a 33 minute workout. Not too much of your day, it doesn't take too long. Um, the first movement that you're gonna to wanna to know is the push up. So you've got alternatives, you've got choices with this one. With a push up, I'd love to see a nice straight, strong body, a nice straight plank. We're squeezing our butt, squeezing our quads. Um, you don't have to go chest to the ground, but in a perfect world, that would be your full range of motion. Just get that chest all the way down and then pushing away from the floor, pushing your body away from the earth. Not an explosive lockout on the arms, just a nice soft extension there. Now, the options are, if you can't do a full push up, you can bend your knees, bring those heels towards your butt and perform what we call a knee push up, which is a perfectly fine regression. Or if you want, find yourself a bench or some sort of countertop platform and you can perform incline push ups. So that's another way of regressing the push ups there. Sweet, so that's one number one. Movement number two is the forward lunge. It's basically a step forward, feet about shoulder width apart and the feet remain shoulder width apart as if they're on train tracks. The reason for that, they help with your balance. So you're going for 90 degrees in each leg, front and back, letting the knee just, just kiss the floor lightly and then stepping back to the start position. Movement number two. So the third movement is what we call a multi-climber. This one is a mountain climber. We're in a plank position, high plank position. We're gonna bring our knees up to our chest. One, two, and then we're gonna go side, side. So it's like a multi-tool. We're doing more than one thing. Middle, middle, side, side. Now the pace at which you do these is gonna be determined by you and your cardio level. So, perfect. Next one is a squat, raise, hold. So it's a, it's a complex. Basically, we're doing a squat as low as you can, keeping your heels down nice and flat on the floor. Up. Raise on one side, hold it for a second, down. Squat, raise, hold, down. Now with the raises, I want you to feel the hips. I want you to feel the glute meds. Don't tip your body to the side. Where you do is squat, keep your body relatively upright, and raise. Squat, raise, hold. So hips, quads, glutes with that one. Nice. After this, we have what we call the burpee break dancer. This one's a little bit of, a, of an advanced movement, but we're just, we're just dipping our toe into the advanced stuff. Regular burpee, down on the floor. Instead of doing a push-up, what we're gonna do is flip our whole body over into a break dancer, back, up and jump, and then we're gonna flip over to the other side. Break dance. It's a funny name. I don't know if it's the right name, but that's what we're gonna call it. That's how we're gonna do the movements there. After that, we've got butt-ups also known as a froggy in the, uh, in the zoo workout world. We're gonna squat down, bring the elbows in between the knees, push our butt up, hands down, sit back down, butt up, down. So it's a, it's a dynamic motion. We're actually gonna get a nice stretch in the hamstrings, nice stretch in the glutes, working our quads to get our butt up and down, hands moving in opposite direction, perfect. Beast kick throughs, another complex. You're gonna be sitting down on your butt, Hands on the floor, knees off the floor, okay? We're gonna go beast with the front, with the right hand, and then left leg kick through. Repeat on the other side. Beast forward with the left foot, and then right leg kicks through. So, beast, and then left. Beast, and then right. There we go, nice. Oh, welcome in for those followers. Excuse me. Um, Yug, if you do want to chuck that into the question queue, we can answer that later on. One more thing to show you, and that's the fast feet. Here we go. Standing in the center of the room, wherever you've got the most room, and you're literally just gonna, literally just gonna move your feet fast. And that's what we're gonna do for that whole period there. So, no, not yet gold. We're gonna start that timer right now. So that was basically a run through of those movements. For the intro, <laughs> we're gonna start that timer now and get into the movements. So in 20 seconds time, we're starting off with our, uh, starting off with our push-ups. So yeah, if you wanna stick around, Yug, I'll get into that question after the actual workout here. So here we go. 
10 seconds and we'll start with our push-ups. Here we go, down, 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 three, two, one, go. So as the first movement of this workout, pace yourself. We're gonna be repeating these rounds. So I don't want you trying to, to, to bang out 50 push-ups in 30 seconds. Just nice, controlled reps. The types of reps that you can keep going for a long, long time. Big deep breaths already. Because if you're feeling that, you want to make sure that you can rest long enough to, uh, whoop, to get that back. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Computers are okay. Can everyone see this okay? Yeah. That's, what, that's another thing that's broken today. This monitor. Okay, we've got forward lunges to do, team. From here. I've got 10 more seconds to catch my breath. At the moment, after doing a few, like the first few intervals, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, there's a lot of rest, a lot of rest in here. True, but if we start to bring the intensity, you're gonna find that, that that rest period catches up on us. Especially after we do things like those burpee break dances, you're gonna find that you need a little bit more rest. So use this as a gauge. Check in with yourself and say, hey, last time I did this blue workout, I was able to do like maybe five burpee break dances, but my heart rate went through the roof and I wasn't able to get to the rest of the, the workout. Here we go. Take a break. Morning, Beardy, how you going, mate? Whoops. <coughs> Excuse me. That should work now. I think I have a delivery. <laughs> I might have a delivery at the door. Potentially. We'll see how we go. We got our multi climbers to do. Three, two, one. Hop down on the floor. Let's go. Chest, chest, arm, arm. So you're going middle, outsides. Middle, middle, outside, outside. Keep it going. Take that pace so it's maintainable. So you're not gonna go too hard, not gonna go too fast. It's only the first round. So if you do want to go crazy, save that for the last round. Use that as your, uh, as your point of reference. And if you still feel like you could have gone harder, then next time you do the blue one, go hard from the beginning. Or pick a purple workout. <coughs> oh, the old man cat had a restless night. Oh no. Oh no. We do have those, those evenings sometimes, don't we? <coughs> Excuse me. My fine time today for a walk, that's good. Yeah, anything, anything. Squat, raise, holds, here we go. We want space laterally, because we're gonna squat, up, hold for a second. Down, other side. So remember what I said about the torso. We'd like the torso to remain nice and vertical. Don't be leaning over, it's not a side kick. Squat low, leg up high. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you work from home often, Cannonade? Um, I know that it's become a little bit of a new normal, hasn't it? With uh, the post-COVID society that we, that we live in. You work 100% from home? Yeah, good. Well, good. And it's good that you, you've identified that you should find time for a walk because I think that's super important. Um, spending all of your time at home because that's where you work from. You wanna, you wanna get a little bit of that change every now and then, don't you? You know what's good as well? We'll do these burpee break dances. Down, break dance, across, up and jump. Legs back, across, up, jump, back, rotate. Big deep breath, team. Good. <clears throat> you changed jobs in Jan from pub work to IT. That's cool. So pub work as in hospitality. Pub work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so IT is something that can be done a lot of it remotely these days. A lot of it. Trust me, I know. 
I just quit my job in IT of, uh, of 10, 10 years plus. 12 years, sorry. 12 years. <sighs> Used to manage your venue, that's cool. All right, let's get these butt ups in, down low. Elbows in between the knees, butt up. <clears throat> what made you change, Cannon? Was it a, has IT been a passion of yours? Are you following a dream? Or did the, uh, did, were you forced to do other things? <sighs> nice. <clears throat> yeah, and that was another question. IT is a huge field, isn't it? Um, so there's lots and lots of different areas in IT that people could be working. You could be in, in actual, the engineering side of things. You could be solutions architecting. Uh, development, there you go, web dev, cool. So programming and development. You could also be in like the service management as well. Um, that's, a, that's a huge part of the IT industry, not necessarily te technological or engineering. It's just servicing. Beast kick throughs, go. So remember the order of these. Beast with the right, right hand comes up, kick with the left. Beast with the left, kick with the right. Beast right, kick through left. Beast left, kick through right. Build up a nice, a nice rhythm here. Try not to break it. Good, 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 good. That was fun. <clears throat> oh, Mikey, thank you so much. That's a real great message, I love that. I was actually just gonna turn this, this fan on. Cause I gotta say, today's probably the first day where it's actually getting really hot in here. <sighs> Lovely. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, cannon, yeah. 100%. Okay, let's get these fast feet in. Go. <sighs> now, the reason why Mikey wanted to uh, let everyone know that my chat's gonna be limited is because I know how much Mikey likes me to do a proper fast feet interval. <sighs> and I know I'm doing my fast feet right. <sighs> when my heart rate down there, look at it. It drops straight up. <sighs> straight into the orange. It's exactly what I want. The fast feet is a finisher. It's a, it's a anaerobic finisher. Oh, fantastic. You guys have been, you guys are a great, great audience today. Um, Gold Soul, you're doing web dev? So I actually started as a web dev. I started my IT career as a web dev, um, learning all sorts of old man scripting like Perl. Even before PHP, it was all Perl. 155 glitch. Oh, you athlete. You're an athlete, because you know how to bring it up. I have no doubt as well that your heart rate is dropping at a fantastic rate too. Yeah. What about a new cannon? Big cannon. Keen, mate, thanks for the follow. We got our push-ups in five seconds. Let's pop down on the floor. Let's go. <sighs> Bang. <sighs> now that we're warmed up, we should hopefully be able to get a good number of reps in for this. <sighs> repetition is also key to fitness, isn't it? If you've got good form and you can repeat that good form over and over again, you're gonna get yourself far. You're gonna progress. You're gonna overload. You're gonna get stronger, stronger, faster, healthier. <sighs> Nice. <sighs> the, all the other stuff is stifling the passion. You do have to remember as well, if, I, if I'm gonna, I apologize about all the IT talk during a workout, but number one thing for IT, documentation, please. You could, you could make the most elegant code in the world, you could make the most fantastically efficient code in the world, but if it hasn't got comments and you're not documenting it, get out, get out of here. Please, please, let's get these forward lunges in. Go. Hey, B-foot. <laughs> Great code means nothing if no one else knows what's going on. If you're not documenting it. So we're gonna push, we're gonna push, we're gonna push. We've got our nice forward lunges here. This is an intermediate body weight, remember? 
So you don't need to have any weights for this one. If you wanna make it more intense, speed the reps up, speed them up, get lower. Think about the muscles you're using with every single rep there. More than B-foot, how are you, mate? If you need a drink, go grab one. No one's stopping you. Keep the whistle wet. We got our multi-climbers to do now. So again, nice strong plank on the floor here. Two to the center, two to the sides. Whether you start with the left or right is completely up to you. Just get that heart rate down. Recover. For two seconds, let's go. Climber, climber. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. So chest, chest, tricep, tricep. Chest, chest, tricep, tricep. I'm gonna swap left first. This Spider-Man's the killer, aren't they? They're good. One more set. Shake it out. Live, laugh, love, and document. <laughs> That's the, the, the holy quadruple. Holy quadruple. Good stuff. All right, team. Hope you're still with me. Keep it up. If you feel like it's a bit much, just dial the pace back. Dial the pressure off yourself a little bit. Squat, raise, hold. Of all the movements, every day that I do a workout, I've got a favorite. Today's, this is my favorite. Squat, raise, hold. Squat, raise, hold. There's something, there's something about the power you feel with a good strong set of hips, good strong glute meds, where you're able to actually raise your leg and hold it. It's a smaller muscle. It's an often overlooked muscle, but it's super important for runners, for cyclists, for balance, for stability, for back pain. Really, really, really good for preventing back pain, preventing knee pain. Glute meds, super important. <coughs> what happens when the global EMP hits? Well, the, uh, depends on how deep your DR plan goes, Mikey. There were actually some disaster recovery plans that were under regulation that they needed to have physical printouts as well, Mikey. So yeah, <laughs> burpee break dancers. Depends on what, what sort of industry you worked in. Some of the defense contracts we did. did. Oh, Larissa, that's so good. Oh my God. You have to take photos, please. Please, please, please. I need to see photos. That's so good. I've got some good news as well, Larissa. Um, I spoke to them yesterday. I spoke to Chances yesterday. Super apologetic. They actually had a few people off with COVID for the last two weeks. And she said, yep, balls were dropped. But today, my sizing kit is in the express post. It's in the express post today, so I'll be rocking up here. So we'll have the sizings done. We'll be able to put our orders in. Oh, Larissa, that's so good. Let's get some beasts in chat for the, for the resub. Phrasing, phrasing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even think about my phrasing. Apologies, YouTube. Different balls. <laughs> Here we go, get the butt up, get the butt up. Keeping your back nice and straight with this too. Try not to curve your back, back straight. Straighten those legs out. Really get the quads pushing into the hamstrings. Nice. This is a really good way of working on your hamstring flexibility, by the way. Doing the dynamic stretches during a workout helps to push them. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you've, you've, you've brought me a whole new level of energy this morning, Larissa. So if those of you watching on YouTube, and you're not having the same amount of fun as the live people are, make sure to check us out on Twitch. We do these live. I can understand though, a lot of the times it's not accessible to get here at this time of day. So regardless, it's good to have you here. Beast, kick throughs, back on your butt. We're gonna go right foot beast, left foot kick through, repeat. Left beast, right kick through. Right beast, left kick through. Left beast, right kick through. Keep 
going, keep going. Ah, yeah. Good. <coughs> Man, what a time. Good, good, good times. We got fast feet. This is the last movement of this, of this section, this round. 10 more seconds. Man, I need some more airflow in here. Good. Is that fan too loud, chat? Go. Get the feet moving fast. Faster. Keep going, don't stop. Don't stop. Just slow it down if you need to, but don't stop. You can't hear it. Sweet, thanks, Cannon. Boom. 155 is 156. There we go, 158, 960. One sixty. That's my new record for that. We're at the halfway point, Chad. So right now your recovery should look like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> should look like you're walking around. Big deep breaths in. Hey, Rand, what do I train in? At the moment, a bit of everything. Um, I'm actually training for a half marathon. So I'm doing a bit more cardio work. I'm doing a bit more stabilizer work. I'm supplementing that with some, some good old fashioned squats, deadlifts, and then some upper body to balance that out as well. <clears throat> so at the moment, it's, it's focused on half marathon training. Push-ups, let's go. So if you haven't caught your breath, don't worry. That's what this is all about. Trying to work whilst under duress. That's why this is a blue level. The green levels, a lot more forgiving. Blue levels, less so. And the purples, they're designed to be a real challenge. So, see how you feel. Make sure you're pushing, pushing your level of comfort as well. There's something to be said about being uncomfortable once a day. Yeah, hard work. Oh, good stuff, Ran, thanks for following. My question back to you, mate, would be, what are you training in? What would you like to train in, or what are you currently training for? Um, it's always good to hear what people are doing. And if we can help, I am a qualified PT. So if you've got any questions, if it's within my scope, I'll let you know. I'll answer it. We've got lunges to do. So, like I said, I want to start to bring some intensity with these ones. Three rounds out of four. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm eager. Even before the beep. Let's go. You need to stop the swivel chair spread. Have you thought about cannon, cannon aid? Have you thought about a standing desk? I want to show you something. You see my setup there? Standing desk. Um, so the cool thing about a standing desk is number one, a lot of storage underneath it. You can see I've got my chair and I've got my ball and stuff underneath it. But this is where I work from, over here. So yeah, it's a good one. Oh, Larissa. How much time do I have? 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Oh my God, that's so good. That is so good. Oh, Larissa. Man, nice. Okay, well, multi-climbers. Multi-climbers. Um, I think the link might still be active. The link for the store might be active. What I was waiting for was, yeah, a bit of the kit to be built. And I think they're gonna be quite forgiving on me for that closure date of the actual store. because of what's been going on. It's all good. There are a good bunch of people to work with at Champs this. <sighs> nice. Ah, uh, you used to with power lift? Oh, you're injured from a deadlift. <sighs> eat healthy. <laughs> yeah, eat healthy. Eat, eat. Yeah, there, there's, I suppose, the, uh, the, the, one of the things we talk about here, Rand, is the, uh, the fact that even if certain people have injuries or mobility issues, um, 
there's always something you can be doing to help staving off being completely sedentary or unhealthy in your eating habits, if that makes sense. Um, I do sometimes say things as a generalization, like I say, you know, everyone should be doing workouts every day, but please, please, please don't ever take this as me trying to be a jerk about ableism or anything silly like that. We are, if there are mobility issues, if there are people that have had an injury from something, we want to take that into, into account. So obviously, if you've injured yourself from a deadlift, if you've got a, a back problem, what we'll be looking at instead of the type of rehab workouts you'd be doing to help build up a strong core. So you wouldn't be doing this. And I would, I would trust that people do use their better judgment and uh, don't do movements that are gonna put them into pain. Instead, you'll be having a chat to a, to a local physical therapist or a local specialist in biomechanics to talk about what you can be doing physically. Burpee break dances, down, bang, across, bring it up, bang, across. See how I like to put both legs out straight, one leg bends as we do this break dancer, flick it over, build a nice fly out of it. Good, down, repeat, flip it around. Awesome. Um, try it all on. <laughs> it's so good, Lewis. It looks fantastic. Oh man, I love it. I love the the orange and the I love the white. So you got Grace to thank for that design, by the way. Um, Grace was able to put together those. It's actually it's very much like my shorts, isn't it? The uh, the half half pattern FFP, right? Butt ups. Let's go. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, Grace's talents. It's it's fun, isn't it? Where I feel like I've, I've you know, I, I, don't, I don't like getting mushy, mushy cheese dick about anything, but I really feel like Grace and I are just like perfect pairing. She's got, she's got graphic skills. She's got the, she's got the, the streaming skills. She's got all this cool bloody influence and just, she's so good at so many different things. And then I'm, I've got IT skills. I've been able to do some physical training. I've been able to get all these things and we, we kind of build upon each other's strengths. So man, the graphic design aspect that she's had there is just fantastic, fantastic. I did notice as well that Logitech G shared a photo of the, um, the cable management. So that's, that's one thing I'll put my hand up about. Cable management, I'm good at that. And Logitech have shared the, the photo of my handiwork. Um, go check it out on Twitter. Okay, beast kick throughs. Let's go. So back on the butt. Go beast kick through. Beast kick through. So we're, we're alternating legs, by the way. Right foot, then left foot kicks through. Left foot beast. Right foot kick through. Nice. Nice. You wish you had this cardio? Oh, ran. I suppose that's what I'm trying to, oh no, I broke the tape. That means the ghosts are gonna escape. Is that, that's what happens, right? When you break the line, the ghosts escape. <coughs> so Rand, what you can do, I'm gonna make a point of this as well. If you're following on YouTube, you know what you're getting into. This is a blue level workout. It's an intermediate. Fast feet, go, go. Um, if you feel like this is too much for you, Rand, check out the green workouts. Break the circle. <laughs> go, 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 go. <clears throat> yeah, Rand, check out the transformation. I have actually been on a, a journey myself. Two, one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So yeah, thank you, Mikey. You see here, I lost 50 kilos myself. I've been, I've been training, I trained myself up to Ninja Warrior, up to uh, representing Australia in the obstacle course racing world champs. Um, I've done all that. Um, we've trained Grace as well. 
from underweight, underconfident into an actual beast of a human. Uh, super confident, super strong. Um, and yeah, one of my clients, one of the success stories I often talk about Rand is um, one of my clients came to me when he was deadlifting at home and he actually herniated two discs and two discs were bulging. So he had four, four discs, four discs were a problem. Push-ups and um, he just, he loved nothing more in life than deadlifting, but he didn't injure himself. So he wasn't, he wasn't able to do any more deadlifting. But we actually put him on a program. I got him on a three month program, 12 weeks, and it involved core strengthening, pelvic floor strengthening, a lot of dead bugs, a lot of dead hangs, a lot of just core control, building up strong glute activation, strong glutes. And after that 12 weeks, we had him back to deadlifting 140 kilos. So I think it's around 250 pounds. 250 pound deadlifts by the end of that 12 weeks. And he was doing them safely, he was doing them without pain. And his doctors and his physios were, were happy with his progress as well. So it's a, uh, you have no idea how to do that. Well, I suppose that's the, uh, that's the thing, Ren. Um, that's one of the reasons that I actually became a PT is because I'd, I'd picked up a whole lot of knowledge while I was training myself. Um, but I also did want to become qualified. I didn't want to be one of these one of these people that were actually throwing workouts out there and making money off of people and not being qualified. Um, it's it's a little bit of a problem these days in in the internet land. So on Twitch, on Instagram, and on Twitter, there are a lot of PTs that are actually, or there are a lot of people that are selling programs that aren't PTs. There are also a lot of PTs out there that are selling nutrition programs when they're not meant to. So please be careful. It's a, it's a bit of a minefield out there. Always check on people's credentials. Always check on people's backgrounds. Do any, do any checks on controversies or anything like that. That's not to say that people have a second chance they can grow from that. It's not to say any of that, but um, just make sure you're going into things with eyes wide open. Yeah. So Rand, I, I have programs that I've built for people that I can offer through my application. So if you're watching on YouTube as well, hit the links in my bio, in my profile. I can actually help to build programs, even if you're not in Australia here, if, even if you're online somewhere. Multi-climbers, let's go. So climb, climb, side, side. Bring some effort now. This is the last round, team. So make these dynamic, make these plyometric. Keep it going. Oof. Oof. <sighs> Mobility, fantastic, fantastic. Rand, have a good one, mate. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Um, hopefully we can catch you another time on stream. Um, but yeah, anywhere in the world, it's always good to have a chat. Join the Discord if you want to get pings of when I go live, or if you want to chat offline as well. Squat raise holds. Deep, high. So go down low, bring that leg up high. You notice as well, it's directly to my side. So if I squat this way to the camera, down directly to the side. It's not in front or behind directly to the side there, okay? And the heels are flat on the floor for every squat. Good. <coughs> good eggs. You're all good eggs. Drink if you need to. Love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Water, burpee break dancers. I'm feeling great right now, by the way. On it, fantastic. Go, burpee, break dance. This is exactly what I need, I think, just to get the lungs working again. <clears throat> you know what, I might, I might actually forego the treadmill to be fair, I don't want to push my luck. I feel like this is giving me a very, very good cardio workout right now. <sighs> 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 
Plus, Grace is also live. Canon, the Bruce Lee specials. That's like the, the squat and the kick. Squat and the kick. Or oh, do you mean the back breakers? Oh no. <coughs> Story has it that that's how I'm. Um, oh, the water. Ah! What's ah? I was gonna say, um, Bruce Lee actually broke his back from doing weighted good mornings. So butt ups. So I thought we were, I thought we were harping back to the, the deadlift stories. So you gotta be careful as well. And I suppose on the same vein as me making this decision now, maybe I won't treadmill run. Oh look, maybe I will. I'll check it how deep Grace is into her makeup. Cause if she's, if she gets through this quicker than what she thought, she would, uh, it would be good to um, uh, actually raid into her so that I'm ready for, to take photos of her sooner rather than later. Oh God. Yeah, if, you, if, if the wait's too much for a good morning, it becomes a good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, emergency room. Yeah, you gotta be very careful. <laughs> you do the Bruce Lee, because they're drunk, they'll just have a laugh at you and then drink a glass of water anyway. <laughs> was that from, um, that was from managing a hotel? Beast kick through, let's go, let's go. So, right, left, left, right. Nice, keep it going team. That felt fantastic. Ugh. I'm gonna put it out there. All this stretching that I did this week. I did three rounds of stretching earlier in the week where we worked a lot on hip flexors. Lots of hip flexors, lots of quad. That movement there felt easier than it's ever felt in my life. So, keep it going. 30 seconds left. I wanna see you all bring it. Faster, faster. This is the last movement of the workout, chat. Go, 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 go. Those at home, do not leave anything in the tank. Come on. When I say, don't leave anything in the tank, I mean it, I mean it, nothing. <laughs> the red zone it means I'm above 90% of my heart rate max. Which I know some people look at and go, whoa, whoa, Jeff, that's dangerous. And I would say, yeah, there is a danger in hitting that if you're consistently in the red for extended periods. But when it comes to interval training like this, <coughs> you're doing this blue level because you wanna challenge yourself. You've done the greens, you've got a good strong foundation of movement. This blue level is a challenge. The red, oh sorry, the, um, the, the purple workouts, that's where we'll see us dip into the red a little bit more often. But that is once you're confident that you've got a recovery rate, which like you see here, within 30 seconds, I'm ready in the orange and I'm actually just about to get green. There. So within 90 seconds, I'm actually at the green again. So I'm very, very confident in my own ability to be able to, to push into those deep anaerobic territories and then bring it back to the anaerobic so I can do those up down balances. Now, there is a discussion to be had. I'd invite you to come join me on stream, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose to come check it out and have a chat about the discussion on heart rate training, what that means for your aerobic and anaerobic capacities, and then what it also means for, for calorie burn. It's got some very, very interesting implications to calorie burn for people that are trying to drop body fat. So until then, if you had fun with the blues, 
Look for more blues. If you really want to challenge yourself and you feel like you've got that, that capacity and the recovery rate to get the red more often, then look for the purples. There, that's where we introduce more intensity, more complexity, more balance. And just have a laugh, have fun. Okay, so thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time.